What's up everyone, Iron Smoke here, Deathcore drummer of 12 years, and I'm happy to be back with another reaction video. We have journeyed from the epic styles of Yuka from Nightwish to the precision of Wintersun's Kai Hato and over the bewildering mountain of Aryan's stamina from Epica. And today we are continuing our awesome exploration through the power metal genre with Sabaton and their song Night Witches. My wife told me this song's name and topic has quite an interesting backstory and uh, that I should check it out before I listened. Uh, I did a little bit of Googling and some research and I found that Night Witches were Russian female bomber pilots that got their name doing bombing runs and as they flew overhead, they would drop the idol on the engines for their airplanes, which would make them much quieter. And the enemy coordinated that sound to broomsticks from witches, so I guess they called, you know, came in the night, night witches. Um, it'll be interesting to hear the lyrics to this one, just because of its backstory and name. Um, I believe the drummer's name is Hans Van Dahl, and he's played with Sabaton since 2014. He's also married to the Valkyrie, Mrs. Floor Janssen, and uh, I just love seeing all the connections, the members of pretty much all these bands we've listened to so far have had with each other in the industry. Um, after the reaction, we'll kind of go back through and or explore anything that I find extra cool or noteworthy. And thank you for all the support and watching. Show me what you've got, Sabaton. So let's get into it. All right, I've been anticipating to listen to these guys. So let's get started. Is that an artillery barrel?
Oh, dude. That was cool. That was sick. Huh. Oh, my God. Let's do our breakdown. There's so much to talk about. All right, starting off, the stage set right off the beginning, so cool. It's like they're simulating kind of like a battlefield. With the barbed wire on the left. That's cool, the lights going off. I don't know if that's supposed to be like um, gunfire, like explosions or something. Kind of like, I'm just getting like a battlefield vibe from this. And then they have like a tank thing with the gun and then the drum sets on the top that's so sick um i want to get to more into the pyrotechnics a little bit here Russian nighttime flight it undetected. Damn. Um, the pyro going off with the beat. Pot, pot, pot. Shooting. The, it's like it's shooting out of the artillery tank uh, cannon. That's so cool. Um, I've never seen a, really off the top of my head, a band with a stage set like this before. This is, it's like a little, their own little world on stage. That's badass to me. Um. I did mention the lyrics just now. I wanted another part. So when you go into the song, kind of knowing the backstory, you're like, oh, okay, I know exactly. I know what they're talking about. Like, <laughs> so um, it's really cool to see how the story of the song influenced the way he they wrote the lyrics for it. And I'm loving his voice. <clears throat> uh, I don't want to miss this transition that I wrote down here. Yeah. He does a nice little roll. Um, I don't know exactly what it does in that part, but um, the tom work, the control with the symbols. I'm loving the way his symbols sound. We'll get more into his kit here in a, here in a minute, but um, fast wing needs to be slow when he needs to be keeps it full with the symbols um i like that part okay sorry <laughs> all right this next part okay yeah this is where this is the money shot So first off, we can see he's using a Yamaha kit. Yamaha kit, very nice, very nice. Um, with the full drum rack, right? He's got a mic right there. I don't know if he does a little singing. Oh, I'm interested to see that. You guys, let me know in the comments. But um... oh, that is a dream setup right there. Look at the got the china. One, two, three crashes, two sets of hi-hats, it looks like. Another China on the other side. I think it's got the hole, the, it's full of, hole, full of holes. Um, quick explanation, those, those symbols that are full of the holes, I think they're supposed to sound really dry. So when you hit them, they don't ring for a really long time. They're just kind of like real bright and loud, and then they're just over. Whoosh, like real, real quick. Um, a big conventional china like this one over here will kind of like whoosh, you can ring a little bit, but uh, <laughs> he's got so many symbols. It's so cool. There's some more accentation right there. Rolling on that tom and then um, I think that's a splash symbol, but it looks inverted. So I have no idea. It could be a chop stack. There's so many different types of symbols. We can't get them in, get into them all right now, but uh, there's literally a type of symbol and percussion instrument for every type of noise you want to make. So, that's, 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 it's got quite a bit of control with that foot. Oh, and he's opening with the right side too. Usually my right foot is dominant kick. 
Um, I mean, I'd have to get used to having two hi hats, obviously. So he's used to kind of swapping back and forth. But I just that's weird for me because I'm used to opening the hi hat with my left hit. So I would accent with my left foot, and he's doing it with his right. So it's kind of like I don't know. It's hard to explain. <laughs> but um, I'm loving it. He's very good at what he's at what he does. Another section here. Uh, yeah, this is kind of like building up towards the end. Right there, Act comes in with the the flying on the double kick on that China. Um, while that guy does kind of the riff up on the guitar into the squeal, man, that's the kind of stuff that gives you're like, oh. <laughs> ah. Yeah, so I've I, I've never seen. Uh, I guess, I'm assuming this is scripted, you know, or whatever. Like it's part of the show, but I've never seen like a live show like this where they actually do stuff apart from like you know play the music amazingly on stage. It kind of right there. It kind of seemed to me he grabbed that bazooka and the cameras, man. All right. The cameraman, we got to get back up here. Let's get away from him. But, uh, <laughs> right on the boom, flying on that double kick and the explosion from the bazooka. I've, man, I've never seen anything live like that before. That's so cool. Um, I'm definitely going to be checking these guys out again. I am not cutting my hair again until I look just like one of these guys. Uh, I don't know if it's a metal thing or not, but you always see these epic bands and they have the best hair and they throw it around when they're on the stage. Uh, I miss my long hair, but it'll grow out eventually. Uh, this song was freaking epic, honestly, and uh, I'm totally going to be bringing Sabaton in for some more reactions very soon. If you like this video, please let me know. And if you have any suggestions or feedback, definitely leave a comment below. Uh, if you get a chance, swing by the community section. Uh, I've always got polls up for voting for my next videos and then just updates on the channel. As always, I'd like to leave a huge thank you to everybody watching and supporting the channel. Uh, I've got a bunch more cool stuff to work on, so I hope to see you guys again. This was awesome. This was great. I'm Iron Smoke, and I'll see you later.